All right, so this is a video that is just gonna give you a walkthrough as to how to use stock mines, what it is, what it does, um, and sort of explain how it works. So as you can see here, just Google, you can just type in stock mines, and the first link is the stock mines website. So here has a rundown as to what exactly stock mines is. You can sign up to get more information. Um, you can learn more about what exactly it does, some of the stats. You can contact us about any sort of questions or concerns that you may have. Um, but essentially, Stockpoints is an AI software that I wrote that will scan the markets for stocks that are most likely to provide you a high return in a short period of time. And then it will take that those stocks, predict how they will move within the first couple hours of the day, and suggest when to buy and when to sell to maximize your profits and limit your losses. The way that you would sign into the platform, just click members, members only. You, when you sign up, you would be given a temporary login info and then you can change them once you are a member. You can also access this platform for free. You can access it for free and test out sort of what information it gives and kind of get an idea as to how to use it. So this is the main page, gives some statistics on the sides, or on the side, and then it'll give you this performance graph, give you a walkthrough as to how the platform works. So every day at around 8, 8.30 in the morning, Eastern time, it will begin to update with that day's information. Each day we'll have different stocks that come up, and because it's AI technical analysis based, there is, it doesn't matter what the companies do, it will be a different set of stocks every single day. So it'll update and then it will start to provide predictions and it will continue to predict right up until 9.30, so right before the market opens. And then they're locked in and it will then show what is happening, actually real time in the market, and then show you how well the prediction went or how much return you would have gotten if you traded it with the suggestions that it provided. You can scroll through this page and it will give you an explanation as to what everything is, what everything means, um, but I'll give you the basic rundown so that you don't have to do all the reading if you don't want to, but you can always refer to it if need be. Now, the performance might seem like it's a really high number, but I'll, I'll get to that. I'll show you exactly what um, it means. To start, you can access the free content on the free tab at the top. This will just give you some basic stuff. This is what you would be provided if you have not signed up as a member. The strategy tab has this information, very basic information. It will say at the top, the breakout percent, which is the probability of it being a successful trade. So if you were to follow the stock mine suggestions, this is the probability that you will make money. Now, ideally, this would be above 50 so that it is in your favor, but the best scenarios are if it is above 60. So this would be a good trade to make. Other information would be the number analyzed, which just gives you a rough idea as to how much data was used in the stock mines calculations to provide this information. So ideally you want a number that is greater than like 10. Um, it is still accurate if it's lower, but as long as it's not like zero or two or three, then you're in good shape. Now it's not actually the number of data points. You would have to multiply that by like 40,000. Yeah. So if you click anything that, has a gray bubble around it, almost anything, you can get a little explanation as to what it means. I guess you can't click that one. There you go. And it'll explain. The rank, so this one says it's a medium. That is 
the just a simplified version as to what the or for what the data is showing you so this is saying it's a 61 percent chance there's a solid amount of data um, and then it uses how the stock is moving to give you just a high medium low poor ranking as to whether or not it's a good trade to make so obviously the higher the better you can still be very profitable if you just trade the low ones even um, but poor is not recommended this just says old data because that's the trade return and this it's the weekend currently so there's this all already happened you can change between stocks by just clicking this little drop down menu so on the friday of last week these were all the stocks that came up and it will update the page accordingly now this little menu down here it says this is stock aimd it's predicted to move up at the open saying you should buy it right at the open price sell it at these profit points set your stop loss to this value now at any given time there is a chance that the stock price will go up or go down so what this ai is doing is telling you what the probability is of the stock moving up or moving down right at the market open and then it will tell you what that movement is supposed to be so in this chart it's saying that aimd is predicted to move up at the open and it's supposed to move to a roughly 351 with this error range and then come back down to around 260 and then come back up to 345. It tells you this in this table down here as well, just as numbers. So this is saying that there's a 61% chance that it's going to be a profitable trade. It's more likely to move up at the open and it's likely to move up around 21%, come back down 24%, and then potentially move up another 20% or 19%. What you can see here, PBM was more likely to move down at the open, and it's saying that you would buy it at 232. So why does it show open price and then 232 for if it's moving down? If you are going, if the stock is meant to, or is more likely to move up at the open, then the best case scenario is that you buy it right at the open, and then you profit from it moving up right away. So that's why it says open price. And the way that you would trade that is you would enter your orders in the pre-market so that they execute right at the market open, and then it'll sell it at whatever the profit prices are, or if it gets stopped out. For the movement if it's supposed to move down you would wait for the stock to come down to the suggest or the predicted amount or the predicted price so this is saying that it's likely to move down to 214 215 roughly and then move back up to 259 in that case what it's saying is you wait for it to move down to within that range and then on its way back up you would buy it at 232. So if it comes down to, this one's saying if it comes down to 231, to roughly to 214, and then it comes back up to 232, you buy. So that's how you would enter those orders for if it moves down or if it moves up at the open. Now, when you're trading, you can also remove the clutter, make it a little simpler to look at. So when you're trading, the way that stock mines works is it is looking for stocks that are most likely to give you a high return in a short period of time. So if it finds these stocks, then that day you could have one stock that ends up having a 2% risk if you hit the stop loss or a 3% risk or a 7% risk. So what you want to keep consistent is the amount of money that you're risking per trade. And that's how you would maximize the returns that you see from stock mines, which is why we implemented this little calculator at the bottom here. So what you would do is, let's say I'm wanting to trade AIMD and I'm willing to risk $50 on the trade. I enter that, it's predicted to move up at the open, make sure that's selected. And then it's saying that I would buy 238 shares. 
and if it hits all the profit prices, I would make $180 roughly. Now, if it were to move down, it changes accordingly. Or here, if I'm risking 50 on PBM, it's saying I would buy 455 shares. So it changes depending on what the stock is, how it's moving, and what the prediction is for how it's supposed to move. So you would want to keep that consistent. Now, what if stock mines is wrong? So for AIMD, it's saying it's more likely to move up. What if it doesn't move up? What if it comes down, it hits the stop loss? Is that it? If you go to the premium tab, it will tell you what to do if it's wrong. So it tells you what it's most likely to do. And then if the AI is wrong, you can still profit because it gives you suggestions as to how to trade it, even if it's wrong. So for this case scenario, you can see that it shows the same graph for if it were to move up at the open, and then if it were to move down at the open, it's saying that it would move like this, and it would suggest down here what the prices would be that you would buy and sell at in that case scenario, which is why you would select the open down if it's likely to move down. These numbers are the same as what's in the table, just giving you a nicer way to look at it, I guess. This chart down here will show you how the stock is actually moving according to what the prediction is. So they'll be on the chart together. Aside from that, the only other difference for this premium page, which has more information, it has these other ranks. So the overall rank, which was shown on the strategy tab, is a combination of both the quality rank and the pattern rank. Now you can click these and it'll explain, but the quality rank is based on what the technical criteria is, the data that the, um, the AI has on this stock and how good of a trade it would be, giving you a rank as to how good of a trade it would be um, based on this information. The pattern rank is based on the information, how well the stock is predicted to follow the prediction that StockMinds is giving. So if this is lower, it's not as likely to follow what StockMinds is saying that it will do. Now, if you're confused as to what the step-by-step -step process is as to how you would enter a trade with this information, on the strategy tab, strategy tab, it will show you at the bottom here, the step-by-step. -step. Number one, you pick a stock, it tells you what criteria to look for on stock mines, you calculate how many shares you wanna buy, and then you just enter the trade. If you were to find a stock that is close to a 50-50 or a 50-50 as to whether or not it would move up or down at the market open, there's different ways that you can trade it. You could just not trade it altogether but you could also trade it using these two methods that are included at the bottom which are you trade it as if it's an open up if it gets stopped out you trade it as if it's an open down so you just take both trades if you profit with the open up you just don't trade the open down and the other method is you buy half size so if it's saying you would buy 400 shares if for the open up you would only buy 200 shares and then you buy the other 200 shares if it ends up going down and then hitting that entry price. So it's just splitting your trade between the two. Now, on the, you can also go to the data tab, which will have some more information as to how StockMinds has done, which gets to that crazy number that you saw for the performance. It tells you how the ranks perform, so high, medium, low, poor, how well they do um, and their accuracy for both the different ranks. And then it also provides all of the trades that StockMinds has ever done. So you can see where this information is coming from. The overall return that you saw on the main page is the compounded return for all of these trades. If you were to take every single trade, that's the compounded return. This realistic gain on the side is if you were to trade one stock a day and it's the best best option for that day or you were to trade them simultaneously so you're not um, compounding within the day that's the sort of return that you would see
Now it's obviously dependent on individual people. Some people don't trade every single day. Some members will only trade once or twice a day because that's what they can do. Um, and a lot of members will trade only with one or two profit points to minimize their commissions, which I'll explain. You can also go to the calendar view while we're still in the data tab, and you can see what the performance was for each month and what trades there were on each day. So you can see like January of 2024 on the 17th, we had a 9% gain, 1% gain, and a 3.5% gain on the three stocks that came up if you traded them with the stock mines numbers. So now if I were to go back to, where was I gonna go? So if I were to go back to the strategy tab, you can see it suggests to trade with four profit prices. And that's what the AI has generated as being the best scenario for the commissions that you would be paying. Um, and maximizing the returns for how the stocks will typically move depending on the prediction. If you are using Questrade, like I showed in the previous video, then you end up paying $4.95 per transaction. So if you buy in the best case scenario for all four profit prices, you buy in one chunk and then you attach four brackets, you'd be paying commissions five times, one for the buy, four for the all four cells. So then you're paying like $25 for the trade, which is not ideal if you have a smaller account. So what members will do or what it's suggested to do is to only use one or two profit prices to start. So in this scenario, what you would do is you would buy and then you would only sell at profit point two or profit point three uh, is what's suggested. So you would enter your order or just one bracket um, and your profit would be 321 or 351 in this case scenario. And then that way you're not paying as much in commissions. Now you can also get real-time data packages or you can use a different broker. Um, interactive brokers is also good for if you're in Canada um, or the States for that matter. Um, but with Questrade, if you have the real-time data package, you pay, you can pay one cent per share um, to a maximum of $6.95. So if I'm buying a thousand shares, I still pay $6.95. If I buy a hundred shares, I'm paying a dollar. And that way, if you have a smaller account, you don't pay as much in commissions. And they will rebate you that if you pay a certain amount in commissions that month. So to get that real-time data, you pay $90 a month. And then if you pay $300 in commissions, they'll give you that $90 back. So it's definitely a better bet if you trade frequently and you have a smaller account. So this is essentially it for stock lines, what it does, what it gives you. Um, if you wanted to enter this information onto Questrade, I can give you this as an example. I showed in the last video how to enter bracket orders, but I'll give you a rundown again. So if I have Stockwinds open and the Questrade tab open, or the Questrade Edge platform, um, what you would do in this scenario is, so AIMD is predicted to move up at the open. So I would enter my orders in the pre-market so that they execute right at the market open. And what I can do is I can enter, let's say I'm risking $10. It's saying buy 48 shares. Easily, you could divide that by four. So I would do 12, let's do AIMD, okay. And then 12 shares, 12 shares, 12 shares, 12 shares. Select the little bracket window, the bracket check. And then the four profit prices are 306, 321, 351, and 367. And the stop loss for all of them is 270. 
and you would keep that the same. And then you would just click buy. You just click enter, enter all four orders, and then it's done. And then again, you could also do all in one chunk. So I would do all 48 shares. I would uncheck the bracket. I would click the, because it's the weekend, it won't let me, but I'll just do like a limit order for some arbitrary amount that it's close to. Click buy, and then my order's in. And then what you can do is edit or you can, it'll give you an option to attach a bracket and I can attach a bracket for the 12 and it would be 306, or sorry, 306, no, 306 for the profit, 270 for the stop loss. I click sell. Obviously it's not that price anymore because this is the weekend, but you would attach that bracket and then I could attach another bracket for the other 12. And then that way I'm paying less in commissions again. Cancel that. So that's how you would enter the orders with stock mines, um, or enter the information with stock mines um, on your quest trade page and how you can edit the bracket orders to um, reduce your commissions. It's also suggested, or you can lock in your gains and be more, um, you'd have more trades that are profitable if you raise your stop loss after you um, hit profit point one. So if I hit, if I enter all four profit prices, there's all four levels to sell, it hits profit point one, what I would do is I would edit the bracket order so that the stop loss isn't at the stop loss price anymore, it's at what I bought it at. So that way, even if it only does hit profit point one and then it stops following, it will still sell at break even and then you would still be profitable. So that's just to lock in your gains and have more profitable trades overall. You will still be profitable if you follow the stock mines numbers and you don't raise your stop loss, but that's another suggestion. If you have a smaller account, and want to see those consistent gains. Other tools that I would suggest using for stock mines is if you are on the stock mines page or even the stock mines website. So if I just go to the stock mines website again, you can go to the, let me just make it so it's a little bit more visible here. You can go to the Instagram page, which we have a lot of videos and posts as to how to use stock mines, what to do, um, different trading tips, things like that. Our Twitter, um, TikTok, YouTube, and then Discord. The Discord is what I would suggest as it has a lot of information for how to make trades, um, for what information means. I give live callouts for what is happening that day. So it'll I'll say, that um, this stock has reached the entry price, this profit price was hit, this is when you would enter, um, and so forth. And you can also directly message me if you have any questions or concerns or message other members to get information if there's sort of similar experiences between people. And that's it. If you want to join Stock Mines, um, it is free to try, so you can sign up and you will get a free trial. You can cancel at any time, but if you choose to stay with it, it is $50 a month. Members typically will make that back in a single trade. So it's, I'm not here to take money from you. I'm here to help you to be profitable yourself because trading is so easily overcomplicated by all these different people on the internet. and. I'm here to show you that it can be very simple if you are given the right information. And that's what StockMinds is trying to do, give you the right information. Give this video a like and subscribe. I don't know what people say on YouTube, <laughs> but uh, yeah, send me a message or 
comment if you want to see other information or other information that would be useful.